But there's just one thing that you need when the knights start throwing in. It's a good set of lights. TLLD170. Practical, functional, cheap. These lights are surprisingly capable, but probably about the easiest way to comply with your legal requirements. Revolution is Edinburgh Bike Corp's in house brand. A rear light that will be familiar to anyone who's used cat eye lights over the years, and a rather nice aluminium barreled front light. This is probably the most packed out of all the front lights that I've looked at. Or maybe that's just me. And we shouldn't really be surprised these days at a quality of revolution kit. a little lightweight and uh, plasticky. And I would tell you more about it, but I can't get the damn thing open to the battery bit. Real light, however, is a nice functional little unit. The Cat-Eye Hybrid can switch between battery power and solar power at the flip of the switch. Using solar power, little blue glow, using battery, orange. It produces quite a narrow beam, although there are cutouts on the side for side visibility. It does look like something out of Star Trek, however. Live long and prosper. The environmental choice, it even comes in a recycled cardboard box. Smart Lunar 25 will satisfy every fashionista's desire, being, as it is, in trendy white. It's so this year. The front light's a fairly powerful unit, with two different strength beams and flashing mode. I can't help wondering, though, if the rear light shares the same three LEDs as the Smart Polaris. But it looks prettier. However, the lunar lights do feel a little bit sturdier. <laughs> single shot rechargeable front light sold in a set with the TLLD610 rear light doesn't try to be fancy. Gordon Brown of the light world, this cat eye just gets on with the job without looking particularly pretty. Though I'm not sure how much of the global economic crisis we can on the light. There was a slight problem with the rubber insert for the recharging plug. ugly. It's hideously ugly. And it weighs about as much as a, a small planet. The light of this is absolutely incredible. Definitely bright enough for any areas of those state light. If there's one thing that annoys me about this Vega, however, it's the rubber strap to attach to the handlebars. Given the weight of this thing, it's always likely to move about, never quite being tight enough. Mm -hmm. 